Today I'm going to show you an audio plugin for DaVinci Resolve that will blow your mind. No joke, it is that good. Let's take a look. I'm just going to say this right off the bat, I haven't been this excited about a product in a really really long time. I've been using an audio plugin in DaVinci Resolve for the last few weeks and I have absolutely fallen in love with it. It has completely changed the game for me and sped up my workflow and it's just, I, I love it. I love it. And I'm not being paid to say this either. It's, this is not a sponsored video. Now, the guys over at Unimule did send me this plugin for free, but but all of the opinions here are 100% on it. I don't even need to tell you this. I just got to show you the product. What we're talking about today is Alex Audio Butler. It's an audio plugin. Actually, it's kind of like four audio plugins in one. And when you apply these plugins to your audio tracks in DaVinci Resolve, it will literally mix your videos for you. You heard me right. It will mix your videos for you and it will sound good. If you don't believe me, go back and watch my last three, four, five videos. Those were all mixed using Alex Audio Butler. I did nothing on my own. I didn't do the EQ, the compression, the leveling or anything. They were all mixed by Alex Audio Butler and I think they sound pretty good and it's really easy to use too. Let's actually jump into DaVinci Resolve. Let's just get right to it. I've got a little bit of a sequence here. It's just a sequence of uh, some, some waves and being underwater and I've got a little voiceover talking about the ocean and it's, it's a pretty simple sequence. It's just kind of an example so I can show you what this plugin can do. So all we're going to do right now is just head over to the Fairlight page. I'm going to break down each one of these tracks for you. Audio one right here. This is my voiceover track. So right here, these clips here are my dialogue and then audio two is sound effects. Audio three is sound effects. So right here is a little bit of sounds of waves crashing and, you know, beach sounds, stuff like that. And then audio three is kind of like the underwater bubbles. And then audio four is my music. Now let's go ahead. Let me pop on my headphones real quick. Let's go ahead and listen. Listen to this track as it is unmixed and just to show you what we're starting with. So let's go ahead and listen to that really, really quick. what I mean there like that is just a bad mix the dialogue is is way too low the the bubbles are kind of overpowering everything until those waves come in and then those overpower everything the music isn't really as loud as it should be and it's also like not ducking when the dialogue comes in this is just a very raw the clips are where they need to be but nothing's been done with it type of thing so now what we're going to do is we're going to apply these plugins so if we come over here into our our effects library and we come down to VST effects you'll see a bunch of VST plugins because I do use them a lot but these first four up here are the ones that we're going to be focusing on today so this first one Alex master audio butler and then Alex music audio butler Alex sound effects audio butler and Alex voice audio butler so let's go ahead and drop Alex Master Audio Butler onto our master track. It's just click and drag. And you'll see a little pop-up come up here, a little window. And what we're going to do is just set this. So we have a few different forms of compression that we can do. General is just very light compression, creates a cohesive mix that is clean and open. You can see the, 
the descriptions down here in this box. If we come over to Boost, Boost is medium compression. It will bring loud and soft parts closer together, increasing total loudness. And then Max is full compression for maximum loudness, but can be harsh when input material contains background noise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this a general compression. For most things, I feel like general compression is the way to go. I, there aren't too many instances where I would use boost or max. So we're gonna stick with general compression here and then export target. Now this is really cool. It will auto normalize your, your final project based on where it's going to be published. So we have online broadcast and archive and we're gonna stick with online right here because this is going to be published online so that's kind of you know obvious and so th that's good we're gonna leave that there let's go ahead and close out of that and here we go alex music audio butler let's drag the next plug in here we're gonna drag this onto our music track, which is audio four, and we can put it either right here in the audio track, or we can bring it over to the mixer and drop it into audio four. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way so we can actually see what's happening. So for music, we've got some target volume settings. One is the lowest, five is the highest, and then there's off. And then auto ducking is subtle, which is during voice, the volume of music becomes slightly lower, almost unnoticeable, creating room for voice. Uh, medium is during voice, the volume of music becomes a bit lower. Tasteful ducking for many types of video. That's probably what we're gonna stick with here because I, I do want it to come down a little bit more significantly when the voice kicks in. And then there's contrasting, which is during voice, the volume of music becomes much lower, clearly noticeable ducking effect. We're not gonna do that. That's, I don't know. I don't know. We'll listen to it and we'll see. Maybe contrasting is the way to go here. I haven't mixed this yet, so we really don't know. So for now, music is good to go. And now let's come back over, grab our sound effects plugin, and we're going to drag this onto audio three. And same thing, we've got some target volumes and auto ducking, same types of stuff. Subtle, obvious, and off are the only options you get for auto ducking with the sound effects. Uh, we're gonna do subtle for this. Normally I would have it off because the sound effects aren't happening at the same time as the dialogue, especially, you know, those quick hitting sound effects like the hits and, and stuff like that. But when it comes to more ambient noise type of sound effects, then you're gonna wanna do a little bit of ducking there. So we're gonna have it on subtle for now. We may change it a little bit later. Let's go ahead and close out of there. And last but not least, let's go ahead and grab that Alex Voice Audio Butler plugin, and we're gonna drag that onto Audio One. So for voice, we've got a few different options. We've got auto volume and you can choose constant source or varying sources. And the difference is, it's pretty self-explanatory actually. Constant source means that all of the audio clips in the track are from the same audio source, same person, same microphone, you get the idea. Varying sources means that that audio track has audio clips from different microphones, different people. And depending on what you choose, Alex Audio Butler will compress everything and level everything differently. When it comes to compression, we've got natural, general, and max. Natural is what you're hearing now. This is the compression that I typically use on most of my videos because this isn't a voiceover. This is just me talking to you, hanging out, having a good time. General is more, uh, it's a subtle compression, increases intelligibility and consistency for all sources, a small loudness boost without sounding artificial. And that's pretty good for voiceovers. That's probably what we're gonna stick with. Or we might go with Max, which is a really strong compression, extra loudness, but it does tend to sound a little bit artificial, but this is basically the sound that you get during commercials and stuff like that. So who knows, we may end up using Max compression. Now, while I was showing this to you, Alex Audio Butler was already working in the background, listening to the mix and adjusting things as it deemed fit. And so this little window here, it will tell you exactly what it's doing. So right now it says updated analysis four minutes ago. Now, if we actually start playing this mix, if we come back over to the beginning and we start listening to it, you'll see Alex Audio Butler is updating the analysis again. See, we got updating analysis.
Waves are the voices of tides. Tides are life. They bring new food for shore creatures and take ships out to sea. They are the ocean's pulse and our own heartbeat. Every time I slip into the ocean, it's like going home. So you see, that already sounds a lot better. The voice is finally at the right level. It's been compressed. The other tracks have been mixed fairly well. There's a little bit of weird stuff, and that's kind of, I guess, one warning that I want to give to you. When you listen to this through the first couple times, you're going to hear Alex Audio Butler adjusting things. So things may jump up in volume. It may come down. The ducking may be a little bit too severe. It, just the more you listen to it, the better it's going to sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to run through this a couple times with Alex Audio Butler. I'm going to export it, and here is the final product. Waves are the voices of tides. Tides are life. They bring new food for shore creatures and take ships out to sea. They are the ocean's pulse and our own heartbeat. Every time I slip into the ocean, it's like going home. Now, I'm an audio guy. I've been an audio guy for a really, really long time, and I actually enjoy mixing audio and making things sound really good. But that being said, this audio plugin is absolutely amazing. And if you don't want to mess with audio and you don't want to worry about whether things are loud enough or whether they're mixed right or anything like that, I would highly suggest picking up Alex Audio Butler. And for those of you who are watching who maybe work in Premiere Pro, there is a version of this for Premiere Pro. The Premiere Pro and the DaVinci Resolve version are both $89. I'll link to it below. If you want to get them both, it's $149. And that's not a bad deal for what this does and the amount of time it's going to save you editing your audio. I, as far as I'm concerned, it's a no brainer. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying, Jay, you skipped a step. You didn't show us how to actually install the plugin, but you know, that's okay. I made a video about that already. You can check that out right here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that will help you become a better video editor, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.